How's it going? Uh, yeah. So uh, there are some changes going on around here. Uh, there are changes going on in the shop. And uh, because of that, uh, there's a good chance that there are gonna be changes going on with this channel. And I don't know what those changes are, what they're gonna be, uh, how it's going to affect the channel. Uh, I am definitely going to still try and upload whenever I can, but um, the videos may, there may be more time between videos. Um, on this thing right here, I've come to realize that just um, showing you that I'm working on it is not good enough. Um, I need to actually show some kind of progress. And uh, because of that, whenever I get a chance, I'm going to work on this, I'm going to film it. And then once I actually have a video edited and put together that shows progress, then I'll upload the video so that you can see that something's getting done. And I completely understand because we're sitting in, in the same exact spot you know, where we ended the last video. And this car, uh, because of changes in the shop, this car, is, it needs to get out of here. This car cannot stay in this shop. Um, I definitely wanted to pull the, the subframe down and, you know, we've talked about all this, you know. And of course I can't do that because the car will be definitely stuck. As it is right now, it's still rolling. Uh, so, what I need to do is uh, try and get these windows up. <laughs> and uh, of course, you know, we got this wiring harness all tore, tore apart and it's not completely out. But I'm going to try and uh, put the windows up, get the T-tops on so we can just get it out of here. And I've moved a lot of the um, parts and everything uh, to a uh, storage uh, unit. And uh, probably most of all this stuff is going to go into a storage unit to uh, get it out of the way because it can't be sitting here in the shop. And of course, some of the more vital stuff uh, I'll probably keep here, uh, like the dashboard, the, especially this top dash, this, this dash pad is in good shape and I don't want it to get messed up. My instrument cluster, stuff like that, and I got all, you know, parts and everything over there still. Um, but it's going to be uh, harder for me to work on this vehicle here at this shop. Uh, so unless I can figure something else out, um, I don't know. I, I don't, um, uh, we're over budget, okay? Um, and I don't have any sponsors. I don't have, you know, I'm paying for everything myself. So it's going to take a while, you know. But there's a lot of things that we can still do that don't require money. And that is getting this, uh, you know, wire harness and all that stuff out. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to film that stuff, you know, whenever I can. And like I said, whenever I have enough material that it actually shows that I made some kind of progress on it, then I'll upload a video. Um, for now, let's uh, see if we can get these these windows up. And um, right here is the, the uh, window switches. And I looked at the wiring schematic and this um, blue and brown wire right there um, is for one of the windows and I believe it's this black and blue wire right here is for the other window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my uh, power probe set up to the battery and supply power and ground to that. Uh, they're fairly easy. You know, you put power on one side and ground on the other side, on another side and the window moves one direction. You swap the polarities and that moves another direction. So. I'll try and figure that out. Um, so let me get this set up. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so let me get this right here. I am going to just touch this 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 uh, brown and blue wire. I'm going to touch this thing to this side. This is my negative of my probe, and this side to that side, and hit the button. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's see what it's doing over there when I hit that. That's going slow, but it's going. Okay, 
now. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one right here, this brown and blue wire. And I'm just guessing, this one's down all the way. I'm getting nothing. Swap them. Hmm. This one is not moving. What is going on here? Oh yeah, it is. Come on, get in there. It's moving. All right. Okay, that's up. That other side is up there. I just need to get the T-tops on. And uh, this is a battery that I bought whenever we were getting the thing running. And uh, the, the idea behind this, for me anyway, I wanted to um, change, I, I wanted to, the vehicle is set up to use side post batteries. I, I hate side post. That's, I don't know who likes them. Who likes side post? You like side post batteries? Run around down in the comments. Who likes side post batteries? Anyway, this one has side post and top post. So the idea was to change the vehicle over to top post. Um, but then I got the side post um, because um, we have that, uh, that Holley uh, Terminator X, uh, which is gonna have a lot of um, other uh, power and ground leads that need to be like clean and it needs to be clean power so it needs to go directly from the battery and rather than having uh, a ton of connectors on each each one of these you have the regular stuff for the vehicle on the top post and then any extras will go to the side post that's the idea anyway but uh, and that's that's why I got that battery and I'm gonna have to just tend to this battery and make sure that it stays good uh, so what now? Let's get the T-tops on. Get it up out of here as careful as possible. Just however it goes. That should work right there. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. That is where she's gonna be for the time being, at least for right now. So, like I said, there are some changes going on. I don't have any light out here. Um, I've been snooping around and um, there are, aren't any shops, well there are plenty of shops around here that um, you can rent or lease um, a good um, area you know where you could put a lift or something there's some really nice ones too but even the ones that ain't so nice I can't afford it you know I mean it's like having a a second mortgage I mean it's more 
you know, it's more expensive than my mortgage, you know, and I can't have, I can't afford a second mortgage. So the only thing I can do, one thing I can think of is to take this vehicle back, back to where it sat for 17 years. And that is my garage. So I can turn my shop, my garage into a shop and I will show that to you. I'll take you home. Come on, I'm going to my house and I'm gonna show you my garage. It, I'll tell you right now, it's a mess, but I'm gonna have a lot of cleaning to do, a lot of things to clean up. So there'll be a room to put that vehicle there and then I can do some work on that. And um, I'll show you, come on, let's go. Okay, we are here. Let's see if the garage door opens. Come on, open up. Open sesame. There it goes. Okay, turn this off. All right. Get my stuff out of here. Okay. Got some groceries in there I gotta get out that's my Sorrento she's a 17 but here it is yeah I know it's a big mess it sure is I got uh, junk everywhere so, close the door so we don't lose the AC yeah we have AC Got air conditioning, so that's a good thing. I got air conditioning in the summertime, heat in the wintertime. Um, yeah, a lot of this stuff is uh, going to Goodwill, and so all this, everything needs to be moved over. Some things we can't move, like this refrigerator and freezer. Got this reef tank here. And uh, it's a quarantine tank. I have a uh, 180 gallon reef tank in the house. And um, this is the quarantine tank. There's no fish in there. It's just uh, some mushrooms, some corals. Uh, and uh, there's other stuff we can't move. Uh, like this is the, um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of junk that does need to be moved. Uh, this is uh, fresh water. I have a RODI system right there for my reef tank, fresh water, salt water mix. Um, and, uh, but a lot of this other stuff, this is, is all gonna be moved out, moved out of here. Um, this is uh, where the car sat for 17 years. You can see the, uh, where the transmission leak, um, put that stain on the floor right there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it, it needs to be cleaned up. There's a lot of cleaning that needs to be done, but um, I, and I'm gonna move some of this stuff over and uh, clean it all up, and the car can sit kind of at a, a, a angle this way. Um, and on uh, jack stands, we're just gonna be working on the floor, you know. And the lighting in here is not too bad. Uh, I may, you know, do something about that, uh, make it a little bit better. Um, there are um other projects and stuff that that i do I, I like to build things um and um if you look at this this is a, a keyser there's a lot of junk on top of it you know but this is a keyser and you see the i haven't used it in a while but um uh, yeah, this is a, a project that I, I built. What's a keyser? Well, it's a kegerator made from a freezer. And uh, well, why do you have that? Well, if you look up here, these are fermenters. And uh, so I like to brew my own beer. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I brew my own beer. I um, have a, this is a fermenting chamber. This is, for the freezer also it's uh, my fermenting chamber uh, so I can regulate the temperature of uh, the beer when it's uh, fermenting and um, I also uh, like look at this guitar right here this was given to me 
by a buddy of mine. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I like to build guitars, and this was this one's broken. The bridge is broken on it. So why does your friend give you a broken guitar for? It was for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, that's the best thing. I, I can fix it. You know, so I'll put a new bridge on it. Um, and I have uh, kits right here from Stumac for um, building guitars. I got this is a, the Stumac D, which is uh, the Dreadnought. If you don't know what a Dreadnought is, it's a it's a big body acoustic guitar. Um, and uh, I like building guitars too. Um, and uh, if y'all are interested in seeing any of that stuff, this 180 gallon uh, reef tank in my house. It, uh, I built that. I didn't build the, the glass case that it's in, but um, everything else, um, the stand uh, was a piece of junk. I completely tore it apart and rebuilt it, and I built everything that went to it. Um, if you are interested in seeing anything like that, um, just let me know. Um, I can, uh, you know, put that, just run her in the comment, run her down in the comments. Let me know. Um, I could even think of maybe starting another channel, a second channel, just to show other things that I do. Brewing beer, building guitars, uh, fixing reef tanks. So hang on, this, my light went out. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is uh, where it's gonna be. And um, it's gonna be new, uh, uh, new state of the, uh, new state of the uh, the channel uh, starting off something new and uh, I don't have a lot of tools you know so I need to get more tools so I'm not running back and forth from work to here just to get a tool and, and run all the way to work get a tool come back here you know that would be ridiculous I do have uh, some cordless tools and stuff if I need to uh, use air I don't have a compressor but I do have a almost like a 40 gallon uh, compressor in my father-in-law's shed that I can get and install. Um, um, this is a circuit breaker for the house right here and I do have some open slots so I'm gonna have to hook up a 220, 220? Um, 220 or 240? How do, how do you say it? You know, Is this 110 or 120? <laughs> because people say different stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna have to hook up a 220 for the welder. And uh, if I do get that compressor, it'll probably be, it will probably be on the outside of the house right here. Um, so uh, we don't have to deal with all the noise and everything. And um, I'll have to hook up probably uh, another 220, uh, 50 amp for the, um, for the welder, 20 amp probably, or something like that for the compressor. But I can do that. Um, I do have that. Some other tools I'm just gonna have to get, you know, because I don't have them here. But uh, anyway, so just a uh, video letting you know the state of the channel um, as far as uh, videoing, video making videos that work. I'm still gonna continue that whenever I can. It's just gotten hard to. Uh, video uh, stuff in that shop but I do have some some good videos uh, coming up and uh, probably another change that I'm gonna make is uh, I'm, I'm getting rid of this I'm, I'm tired of it so uh, let me know you think I should get rid of this there's a run around down in the comments you know I, I'm, I'm tired of it they say that uh, for every uh, month that you've had your beard you need to think about it for a day well i've been thinking for months and i think that uh, it's about time it's about time for it to go just start all new um so uh, let me know let me know what you think um so i'm gonna get to uh, cleaning this up you know whenever i can get a chance to, to doing it and um we will move the vehicle here and um, I may video that and I may, may not, I don't know. Um, but um, I, um, thanks for watching and I appreciate the heck out of each and every one of you and I will see you in the next one.